Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 7th grade concept of operational word problems. This is standard 7.3b in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 28 off the redesign practice online star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we have Ms. Avery selling tomatoes, and we got 4.8 tomatoes on each of three days, and then 5.6 tomatoes on each of four days. And so how many pounds of tomatoes did Miss Avery sell? Let's open up that graph draw feature. Seems like it's a pretty straightforward problem. So I'm going to draw a picture, and then I'm also going to uh, just work this in an equation as well, right? So on this first week, we've got three days. You know what? Let's use the draw feature there. So let's do three days, and I'm just going to put boxes. Each of these are a day. And each of these are 4.8. So that's that first week. All right. And then the second week, I've got four days, right? So let me just put four boxes. And each of these are going to be 5.6. So there's my really rough picture. And then my question is, is how much do I have? Uh, how much did Miss Avery sell in those two weeks? Well, what am I going to do? I'm just going to add everything up. So if I really wanted to, I can line everything up into a huge uh, addition problem if I want to, right? 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, and then 5.6, 5.6. But if you do this, there's a chance that you might obviously mess up. That's a huge addition problem. Typically, when we see something like that, we think, can we make it easier? And yes, we can, because I can also write this as an equation. So when we see 4.8 pounds of tomatoes on each, okay, each means equal groups. And when you see equal groups, you should automatically think, all right, we're going to either multiply or divide. In this case, each of these groups, uh, there's three groups. And each of those groups are 4.8. So I'm just going to do 3 times 4.8, which is what this is right here. That's what this is. Three groups of 4.8, or 4.8 plus 4.8 plus 4.8, repeated addition. And then I need to add together the 4 pounds of the 5.6, because it's also each. 5.6, which is what this is down here. So you could add everything up, or you can just multiply uh, each of those and then add your products. So let's just do the multiplication. So that's going to be 12. That's 14. Make sure we get the decimal back in. So I've got 14.4. And then I've got my 5.6 times 4. And that's going to be 24, and that's 22. All right. Bring that decimal back in. So 22.4, and I don't even need to regroup, right? That it looks like that's going to be that 36 and 8 tenths. Now, does it really work if you do this repeated, this addition over here? Well, sure. So I've got 8, I've got 16, I've got 24, it's 30. 36, 42, 48. But notice you have to do quite a bit of skip counting in order to make that happen. So I got 4, 8, 12, 16. And then I'm going to add those as 10, so 26. And those is another 10, 36. So either way you set it up, whether you do a big addition problem or whether you set it up as this equation right here, you're going to end up with that same answer of 36 and 8 tenths, or 36.8. So our answer is C.